Okay, so now we're looking at part five, electromotive force and the standard potential. Okay, so here we are, we have the galvanic cell and we now know how to assemble a galvanic cell. And what we want is to look now on how we measure the electrical current or the voltage. OK, whenever we have a galvanic cell or a battery, how do we measure the voltage? And the voltage is actually the difference in the electrical potential between the anode and the cathode. And it's typically measured with a voltmeter or a potentiometer. So what we mean by here is. There is a potential for the electrical to flow. I mean, there's a pull of electrons from the cathode to anode. How do we know how much electrons are being pulled? And as the, the better the pull of these electrons, OK, the better the flow that will take place. And the better the flow, the higher the voltmeter will be. And the higher the voltmeter, the more voltage we get. And the higher voltage we get, you know, we could use more and more electricity and we can generate more and more electricity from it. And so we want to measure this cell voltage, which is also called the electromotive force, which is also called the cell potential. This is what's more main important. OK, so if I tell you cell voltage or EMF or cell potential, I'm literally measuring the electrical potential potential difference between the cathode and the anode. For now, we're going to measure it at what is called standard conditions. And for standard conditions, it means that all my solutions are one molar at 25 degrees. OK, so we have the anode on the left hand, cathode on the right. The cell potential, we call it E naught of the cell, is the E naught, the potential at the cathode minus the potential at the anode. Okay. Always the total cell potential is that potential. And this is called the potential difference okay, between the two measured in volts. And one volt is one joule of energy Per, per per coulomb of charge. So for every one charge, one joule of energy. Now, can you meet standard conditions? It means 25 degrees Celsius, one atmosphere curve for gases, one mole for concentration of solution. Okay. And we are going to take the sum of the potentials for each half reaction. That's one way of thinking about it. And or it's always the potential at the cathode minus the potential at the anode. In other words, the potential of the reduction half minus the potential at the oxidation half. Some people put it like this. E of the plus mean the positive pole minus the E on the minus, meaning on the negative pole, which is on the pole of oxidation. Before we talk about the potential on each half separately, any yani oxidation and reduction, we must discuss the notion of the couple. Okay. And which is a very weird notion since actually reduction oxidation must occur within two couples might be zero within a single couple, but nonetheless. Um, oxidant and reductant for a single couple. So we have an ox plus n number of electrons becomes a reductant. So for example, if I have iron three plus plus three electrons, becoming iron. 
iron with iron three plus is a couple. كيف مثل الأسيد بيس مثلا عنا H A and A minus is a couple. Okay. H A plus water becomes A minus and H three O plus. H A A minus act as a couple. And here the couple is Fe3 plus Fe. We write the couple ox red. They man bihutul ox Fe3 plus ala red Fe. Bil acid base, it's acid base. That's how it's written the couple. Here it's ox ala red. Each kif hayda and ka for this. This couple have a potential for the couple. Okay, they have a potential for the couple. So if I look at this couple, copper two plus goes to copper. Yani copper two plus plus one electron goes to copper plus. If I have a potential, copper two plus for copper, this potential, they give it to you. You don't, kifil ka, they give it to you. I don't sit there and solve for the potential. I'm given the potential of the couple. Another couple also involving copper, but they are slightly different. Heidi zakkaritne bil diprotics, yani baadna masan bil phosphate, H3PO4, and different Ka values, Ka1, Ka2, Ka3. Similarly, involving copper, but it's a different couple. This is cup, copper 2 plus with copper. So we have plus two electrons. This has a different potential than the first one. Okay. And they are, we consider them a completely different couple. They are not the same. Okay. Same as this. They are not the same couple. Mitlid diprotics. Um, they are a different couple. They have different Ka values, bil acid. An ox of one couple is needed to react with the red of another couple in order to perform some electrical transfer. Yani nahna, hey, though, these two as a couple, they do not react with each other. Low and the oxidant reductant, but there's no reaction between them, or they don't have a redox reaction, if you will. They just transform from one to the other, but there's no actual electricity generated or anything. One couple will gain electrons and another couple will lose electrons. In order for the reaction to occur, we have to have two different couples for certain reaction to occur. Um, I just related it to Ka. كيف عنا uh, the value of Ka, you can classify the acid-base pairs. You can know which is the acid-base pair, okay? And relative to Ka, an affini add if its strength is again stronger acid, weaker acid. Remember, higher Ka is a stronger acid. Yani lower pKa is also the stronger acid. Like that. We have the standard reduction potentials where I could measure the reduction strength. Okay. The higher the E naught, the higher the possibility of undergoing reduction. What do we mean by that? We will see in a moment. كيف عندي تذكرتوا PKA scale? كان عنا إنه what, what did we put on the bottom? The strongest acid, right? كل ما كنا to go down, we get the strongest, stronger acid. And on this end, upwards, we get the stronger base, correct? There is going to be likewise an E naught scale, standard reduction potential, 
and we put it on the enode. We put the donor and the acceptor on the two ends, and we will discuss it in a moment. Okay. Let me get to it, and then I'll discuss these in a moment. Uh, the typical scale is, let's go there. We put an E naught scale, okay? And we put the strongest oxidizing agent on the top and the strongest reducing agent here on the bottom. Okay, and here's the E. And so if we have the strongest oxidizing agent, it means that this reaction, upper reaction, where there is a single ox red couple, we called it ox two red two, a single couple. This reaction has a great tendency to undergo what? Reduction. It wants to undergo reduction because it has a higher potential. The ones on the bottom have a lower potential, E, and they have a higher tendency to undergo oxidation. As long as the E is lower, it wants to undergo oxidation. And we put everything on the E scale, stronger oxidants on top, stronger reductants on the bottom. And then we continue with, with reactions. So where do we get the E's from? Now we're going to discuss these E values. Where do we get them from? PKA il nail kon biwata, KAs and for acid base, and no khalas, they're given to us. Standard potentials, kamen, they are given to us, but I want you to know where they come from, okay? Where do these standard potentials come from? Standard reduction potentials E0 is the voltage associated with a reduction reaction at an electrode at standard conditions when all the solutes are one molar and gases as in one atmosphere. We cannot measure electrode electrolyte potential in isolation. Damon Lahala, one couple, I cannot put measure its potential. I need another couple with it to measure a potential or to have an, any type of change in electrons or movement of electrons. So what we have decided is to use this Xi electrode, standard hydrogen potential. The Xi electrode, who we ibara on hydrogen gas, with a platinum plate here because there's no solid, with H plus ions in solution. So with, with acid in solution, HCl. So the 2H plus becomes hydrogen gas, that's the equation, plus two electrons. This is the net equation for the standard hydrogen electrode. We call it the Xi electrode and it was haphazardly decided that let the Xi electrode have a potential of zero. So the E naught of H3O plus H2O is zero. They decided on this. Okay. And once this potential was known and they decided to be zero, they put other uh, electrodes, metal horny zinc, in zinc solution. And they assembled it in a way so that the reaction is spontaneous. Clear? يعني هوني لما حطيت زنك مع زنك بلس سيقبت مع الشي الالكترود for this voltmeter to move up. إجا its zinc was hap I had to put it on the anode side. This way, the measurement was forward for the voltmeter. For the copper, for the voltmeter to move upwards, I put the copper on the 
cathode side, yani a reduction. Copper will undergo reduction, and that's how the voltmeter went upwards. Okay. And we could have used another electrode, uh, Mr. she electrode, fee other electrodes, fee the saturated chamomile electrode, and there's the AG silver electrode. But generally, these are also reference electrodes, but Ma'andun potential of zero, they have a potential that's different than zero. But it's generally not used to find E0. These are used actar B. Titrations and or a combination of electrochemistry with solubility or things like this. Now, if I want to measure an electrode with an unknown potential, مثلاً هاي ده الزنك. نجي نحنا we now measured the zinc potential. Mm. Okay, شو طلعت الزنك؟ حطيناها على الكاثود سايد ما هيك؟ All right. Let's say let's read this potential. I don't know what. The reading, uh, maybe I have a number. Okay, let's look at the copper actually. The copper, the copper a reduction half reaction, and the she electrode and hot ala the anode half reaction left. When we measured the voltmeter, the voltmeter measured at 0 0.337. Okay. I want the potential of this copper. So the E naught of the overall cell, where we have a cell here, was 0 0.337 or 0 0.34 for uh, uh, rounding. E of the cell is always E at the cathode minus E at the anode. E cathode minus E anode. So if I solve now, uh, who's the cathode? It's the copper, because the copper, we put it here for the voltmeter to be positive. So the copper is on the cathode side. Who's the anode? It's the she electrode. It's the she electrode. We could always call him H3O plus. Uh, H2 gas, E naught of H2O plus H2, or E naught of she. What's the E naught of she, everybody? What's the E naught of she? What's the potential of the she electrode? Zero. 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 So the she electrode is zero, and therefore, from the overall cell voltage, I found the potential of the copper alone. And this is how we get the potential of copper. So what is done here is, let's say, zinc. Zinc, we put it actually on the oxidation to get this voltmeter to be positive. Okay? يعني مرة جربنا على reduction طلع voltmeter negative. لا, بدنا دائما voltmeter يكون positive because I'm generating an electrochemical cell galvanic. Okay, so here the voltmeter is 0 0.76. What is the cell potential EMF of the cell? E cell is E cathode minus E anode. Who's on the cathode now? She electrode. Here's the cathode, it's the she electrode. Okay. It's the she electrode, so the cathode is zero. Who's on the anode? The zinc, anode of the zinc, zinc two plus zinc. And so here, let's solve for anode of zinc. Take the negative on the other side. بيطلع E naught of zinc negative 0 0.76. Okay. نجي هلا منكتب always the reaction we write it whether it's for zinc or for copper. 
من هلا بقولكم regardless of if something if the e node is negative or positive i always write the reaction in a reduction way copper 2 plus plus 2 electrons goes to copper what is this the reduction re reaction okay and indeed copper here happens to be undergoing reduction i write the reaction وحدة دغري بحط ال e node of copper 2 plus copper the reduction potential equals plus 0.34. If I want to write the cell here, yalla, the cell notation, the cell notation is on the oxidation half and a platinum separated by a phase, hydrogen, gas separated by a phase under one atmosphere, hydrogen, aqueous solution plus with its concentration one molar double line for the salt bridge goes copper with a concentration one molar and copper solid that's the cell notation we can write separately who's undergoing at the anode the reactions that are occurring the oxidation and the reduction Oxidation, it's actually hydrogen, goes to 2H plus and two electrons. We can add the two equations to have the overall equation taking place. That's not the point though, the overall equation. The point is for you to know how do we actually get these numbers, these potentials. So are we clear? We get these potentials by putting the Xi electrode and getting the voltmeter cell potential and then finding out uh, what is the potential of the electrode that I need, whether it's on the oxidation or on the reduction half. We will see typically that when enodes are negative, that there is a higher tendency for the reaction to undergo oxidation and not reduction. When I write the potential and at the E, way, zinc 2 plus plus 2 electrons goes to zinc, hey, the reduction half reaction has a potential of negative 0.76. Now, when we have all the electrodes, yeah, we have a table of standard reduction potentials. Keep in a table of Ka, we have a table of standard reduction potentials. For example, I can take here, uh, Fe goes to Fe minus. This happens to have the highest standard potential. Yalla, tell me what that means to you. If it has the sta highest standard potential, what does that mean to you? It is the stronger oxidant. Okay, the stronger oxidant and or the reaction, okay, wants is reduction. to... Is reduction, exactly. The, whatever reagent we have in it, this reaction wants to undergo reduction okay so that's the word standard reduction potential it means i want to undergo reduction and if i want to undergo reduction it means uh that if the reaction is undergoing reduction remember Oxid, oxid, don't confuse oxidizing agent reduction agent by oxidant reductant the french tier they confuse it this is a single equation, guys, a single equation with an electron. This single equation has an oxidant and a reductant, OK? But it doesn't have an oxidizing agent reducing agent, OK? Because that one requires a reaction between two couples. This is Fe, Fe minus. Fe and charge zero, Fe minus. Okay, and a minus charge. Okay, so the 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 lower oxidation number 
okay, uh, is the oxidant. The higher oxidation number is the reductant. So let's go through each of these. So the more positive value means more favorable reduction reaction, greater tendency for the couple to undergo reduction. For the overall couple, what did I say? For the couple to undergo reduction. Mission muwahad oxidant, muwahad reductant. scenario. Changing the stoichiometric coefficient of a half cell does not change the E. And if I want to change this by two or three to balance charge, I do not change the E values. Uh, the nod means that everything is under one atmosphere and one molar, and because an oxidation is always paired with a reduction, it's possible to define one and only one E nod to be zero. We already defined the Xi electrode right here to be zero. Okay, and we cannot have another another pair to have a potential of zero. The only pair that has a potential of zero is the Xi electrode H plus ma H2. Okay, Ilna, this reaction with the highest E value has the greatest tendency to want to undergo reduction. If it wants to undergo reduction, that means the reactant here what is going to be the stronger oxidizing agent for what for the overall reaction for two yani for two different couples okay so on this end kill mckintel e higher upwards we have the stronger oxidizing agent in other words the reaction has a greater tendency to undergo reduction As we go downwards, we have negative E values. This reaction will have a greater tendency. It's written, Tibho, it's always written in the reduction with the here negative E value, but it wants to undergo what? It doesn't want to undergo reduction, thus the negative E value. It wants to undergo oxidation. And the reagent, on this end, the solid, okay, is going to be the stronger reducing agent, thus undergoing oxidation. So reduction as I go upwards, oxidation wants to occur as I go down and more negative E values. Okay, uh, now Anna, this table عن جد تجيب لي السكتة هوني لازم نحط oxidant reductant مش oxidizing agent reducing agent it's the oxidant reductant كلمة reducing agent oxidizing agent only بستعملها again at the end of the reaction بس بالفرنش سيستم really they confuse things this is an oxidant reductant for a single couple but uh, for two different, for the overall reaction, this cannot be the reducing agent because one of them is a product. Okay. Nonetheless, um, halina oxidant reductant, and I should change it myself. Okay. We'll see that it's not so difficult when you are solving, it's actually very easy. Spontaneous reaction actually always occurs between the strongest oxidizing agent, yani the reactant that has the highest E naught, and the strongest reducing agent, yani the couple that has the lowest potential. Okay, or actually the not the, the couple. Like acid base. Can I react in an acid-base reaction, a base with a base? Can I react a base with a base? Mm. 
no, no, no. Sahih. I can get the pH of mixed bases, but there's no reaction between them. Sahih. Similarly, I cannot react a reductant with a reductant and an oxidant with an oxidant of two different couples. They do not react, okay? We must always react one couple oxidant or reductant with another couple's oxidant or reductant. And the best reaction is if I put an E non scale, I choose and I write these in the reduction reaction. I don't really necessarily put the number of electrons. Okay, I just put the couple. Ox red, ox red. And I always react the strongest oxidant with the strongest reductant. And this is actually, yes, going to be your oxidizing agent. And this, the reaction, yes, this will be the reducing agent because these two will be reactants. OK, so first we're going to use the E0 to predict the spontaneous reaction. Non-standard conditions, we use E. Uh, and we're, we're going to see what's the difference between E and E0. The reaction that will always take place is strongest with strongest, yani net reaction, shahatatla, ox to ma red one, becoming shu, ox one, ma red two. Okay, so. Let's see who can react with who. If I, the strongest oxidizing agent or oxidant is right on the top of the E naught, and here they're in the order of E naught going upwards. This iron can react with anything, none of these, he can react with none of these, he can react with anything on the opposite side below him. Yani, as long as the E's are lower and he can react with any of these below him. If I look at rubidium, for example, which is right on the bottom here, and it's actually it happens to be lowest E naught and it's the strongest reducing agent. He can react with any of the material. above him, him on the opposite side. OK, and so what we can say is. Fe can oxidize sulfate, Fe can oxidize water, Fe can oxidize magnesium. Here we say rubidium can reduce Potassium, rubidium can reduce barium. Rubidium can reduce. It's the strongest reducing agent. Let's see if there's a reaction that can take place between this magnesium and this calcium. You tell me, can a reaction take place? Yes, yes. 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 OK. Magnesium is a high as on a higher oxidizing agent. Calcium is a lower. It's a reducing. Uh, it's lower than him. OK, as a reducing agent and the, there is a gamma that can react with them. This reaction is spontaneous. Now, just to let you know, it doesn't mean that the opposite reaction does not occur. It's just that it means that the opposite reaction is not spontaneous. OK. Now, what about manganese with M magnesium 2 plus?
can this reaction occur? No. Why? Why? If you get elite, it's in the anti gamma direction, okay? Masalan. Or you can say that manganese magnesium can only react eh, with uh, because here on this end it's the oxidizing agent. Okay, it can only react with a reductant below him, not above him. Okay, he can only react with a reductant that is below and not above. Oh, this is in the anti gamma direction as a reaction, so there's no reaction that takes place. Now, uh, predicting a spontaneity of a reaction and calculating the potential. Okay, and I have to think about it more because this is how I think about it. And I just find it easier to think like that. If I I have two reactions and the first thing I will do is put them in the reduction way because I'm given the E nodes. So I write the two whatever I have in a reduction form. Copper two plus plus two electrons goes to copper and the E nod positive or horny zinc negative. OK, who of these reactions will want to undergo reduction? The first one. The first one, so high reduction, the more positive will want to undergo reduction. Who will want to undergo oxidation? The less positive or negative. OK, my. Yes, so here. Yes. Okay. What I do is. Me personally, I flip this guy. I say zinc goes to zinc two plus plus two, um, two electrons. OK, then I add the two equations. Which two equations do I add? Which two equations? The equation of reduction and the equation of the oxy reaction. OK, now what some people. They do like the gamma rule. This with the solid becomes zinc two plus with copper. My. OK, and this will react with this, which is fine too. Somehow I like to rewrite this in my mind or somewhere to make sure خلص, this guy is undergoing. Oxidation now. What is the overall standard potential for the reaction? It's a spontaneous reaction because we chose the more positive to hide. What is the overall E of the cell if I made a cell between these two or the reaction between these two? E of the cell is E reduction minus E naught, whatever is undergoing oxidation. My. And which E naught, just because I have the equation, and I had it, I will E naught about reduction, regardless, even if I change the equation. So E naught reduction is 0 0.34. What's E naught of the reaction undergoing oxidation? minus a negative 0 0.76. You will always see that it's minus a negative is a really good reaction. And this becomes the E of the cell. It becomes much more positive. Therefore, the it's it's very spontaneous. The best reactions are when you are very far apart in the system. Yani. 
إذا باخد شي من هون أوكي مع شي على الآخر كيف الأسد بيس كل ما كانت الجاما larger أوكي كل ما كانت more spontaneous as a reaction the same thing with these guys So the reaction uh, copper to plus ma zinc goes to zinc and copper. The opposite is non-spontaneous. Yani, and I will not choose this guy to be the oxidation. I will only choose the second. Okay. Uh, as for a cell between copper and zinc, now already we saw a cell separately, zinc ma, ma she electrode and copper ma she electrode. Let's look at, uh, we decided in no zinc is better to undergo oxidation because it has a negative reduction potential and the copper is better to undergo reduction because it has a positive reduction potential. And indeed, okay, this, is a cell that we call a Daniel cell. It means it's going to be a spontaneous cell that can generate for me electricity. So it's a specific form of a uh, galvanic cell that generates a lot of energy. Now, there's two ways to do this. You know, the zinc in oxidation form and then I flip the E nod of the zinc into negative E nod. Me personally, I don't like that, no, but that's one way that's done and seen in books. The other one, the reduction, and then I add these E nods. I add cell potentials. And or write the overall equation, use the half reactions, write the overall equation, and you know that the E of the cell, he yidayman E naught of the reduction minus E naught at the oxidation. You will see that you get the same exact answer. Yani heidi minus a negative 0.76, he yinafsa minus the E, e naught 0.76 negative. And whether I add these two or always I use E naught cell is E naught of the cathode minus E naught of the anode uh, is best. Okay, so you always simply use E of cell is E cathode minus E anode, and you always keep this E naught nafsa minus 0 0.76. Okay. And they're showing you here why we put a negative there because we always, when we do one part is an oxidation, yani I'm flipping him. negative. There, that's where this negative comes from. Not that I'm adding the two potentials, even though I'm adding the two equations. Typically, I should add the two potentials, which I am adding the two potentials, but keeping one in the negative form because I flipped him. Okay, this question. What is the standard EMF of an electrochemical galvanic Dr. cell? Dr. Yes. Uh, sorry, but we have a session right now, so we have to leave. All right. Um, right. I'm going to stop here and we'll do this next. Please make sure that you solve all the questions on the uh, small on balancing and watch the video on the balancing. OK, uh, I will not go through it. The balancing. big deal. Clear. OK. OK, doctor. And we'll continue with this. This the next part is, you know, the major parts.